I had some friends calling me and I had some Hollywood people calling me saying, man, this is so messed up and he's terrible and it's a First Amendment violation, which it was. But I found that those folks were kind of wanting to be part of this thing. Uh. But they, two of them are really, really prominent producers, comedy producers. And after a while, I said, you know, getting these texts from you is actually getting like painful because what I need is I need a job. Mm. I need somebody to give me five lines in anything. Yeah. I need a cameo on SNL like that's Pulp two Fiction. seconds. She which was I in carried. Pulp Fiction. I carried Pulp Fiction. You... If you need someone to go to court, I will be glad to help. Okay, that guy was a drunken maniac. He hit you and then he crashed into that car. I don't even remember the Bing Rame scenes. No. I remember you. I remember, I remember witness the number dance. three. What's that? Witness number three. That was <laughs> probably my didn't character. Didn't he say it wasn't Kathy Griffin as herself? No, actually, Quentin Tarantino um, credited me in Pulp Fiction, Kathy Griffin as herself. Yeah, all right, good. That's what Which I Which made me feel very famous. Pretty great. Very yeah. famous. That was huge. That really huge. was. And it was you, couldn't, you couldn't explain it to people. Yeah. But, like, Pulp Fiction, it's still popular. Oh, yeah. 30 years later. Yeah. And every frame of it works. And to be, I just sidebar, just yeah. to be around that and the filming was really magical. Like, just like, like, yes, everybody knows I love celebrities. I'm an I'm enamored with celebrity, but I really love talent. Yeah. And so I went to the set a couple of other times when I wasn't working and I was very friendly with Quentin at the time. Yeah. He called me when he was writing it and he read me a very famous, um, I don't see a sign here that says dead. Yep, yep, okay. yep, yep. Um, you <laughs> and know, that's coming from me. That's right. Did you notice a sign in the front of my house that said- And that was like magical. It was magical then because the night he read me the scene, I was like, Jesus. Yeah, like, oh, you're this like- This is really pretty good dialogue. I yeah. didn't think this might have some. I remember a friend of mine started screening the night before and he's like, there's a scene where he's talking <laughs> fucking in it's crazy. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. And anyway, so that that was magical to have three lines, but also like going to the cast party. Yeah. And Christopher Walken was there dancing. Like yeah. magical moments. Yeah. No, that was a great that was also like I mean, I guess it was would have been what the fifties were in the eighties. Yeah. It was thirty years ago. So yeah. like it's hard well, to explain to people I can't like even. how right. Like even like how did you get in a movie? It was nuts. I was sort of dating him, first right. of all. But what I'm saying is, like, that was my feeling about everyone. And I loved that he was a big Groundlings fan. Right. So he would go to the Thursday Night Improv show, and he put five the five Groundlings from that movie. Julia Sweeney, Julia, who yeah. played Harvey Keitel's girlfriend. My favorite is the Gimp, a guy named Steve Hebert. He was a Groundling. Oh, I didn't know that. The Gimp, okay. Yeah. That guy. And I remember he was on set a lot in that freaking outfit. Like that, they did not shoot him out in a day. <laughs> I remember him talking about how hard it was to be the Gimp in Pulp Fiction. Fuck, and so now funny. we see why. I that's had a, a joke with Bing Rames that he is he's the only person to get raped in a movie that even dudes were like Right. Mm. You took that shit like a G. <laughs> Like I yeah. felt you on that, just like I, it, but that's the whole movie is like that. Yeah. Like, why is this working so good? I it's know. Every, yeah, amazing. I know. I actually like one night Quentin and I drove to I think it was Redondo Beach because they used to have a Dunkin' Donuts there, and I knew the fry time, so I said I can promise you hot donuts. And we drove past the video store where he worked. Like that was magical. Yeah. So yeah, like you're saying, as you get older, I really have an appreciation for those moments. Like, whatever I bitch about being canceled or whatever, I've had some crazy cool moments that actually mean something to me. Hey, did you like that? Did you like that? Yeah, did you like it, though? You want more? Don't want to work? Would rather watch videos of me grab-assing with people? First of all, go up here to subscribe. And then go up here to uh, watch more clips. This is like when the weatherman says that there's a high-pressure system coming in. Although I'm not really used to the green screen.